Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shia Abdul. Today we are diving into the world of Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 5 video series. Kali Linux, as you know, is a security focused operating system packed with ethical hacking and penetration testing tools. And the Raspberry Pi 5 is a powerful yet compact single board computer that is perfect for running it. In this video, we will walk you through the entire process of installing Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 5 from downloading the image to configure system. This video will be the first video for our ethical hacking with Kali Linux educational tutorial and I will be uploading each week ethical hacking tools to use with Raspberry Pi 5. So whether you are seasonal security professional or just curious about the world of ethical hacking buckle up and get ready to unleash the power of Kali Linux on your Raspberry Pi 5. First thing first, we need to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. This tool makes it super easy to install different operation system on your Raspberry Pi 5. I just brought the Raspberry Pi Imager OS site. So we are going to head out to the official Raspberry Pi website. I have put link in the description field and download the image for your operating system. You can see download for Windows, download for Mac OS, download for Bun to Linux. I am going to use Windows, so I'm going to use the for Windows. You can see it's downloading, it take a few minutes, and after that we're going to open and we're going to set it up. Okay, after downloading, let's install the image. It's a straightforward process. Just follow the on screen instruction once installed we can open the image first click install you can see it's installing it's very straightforward uh, very quick and after that it says run raspberry pi image i'm going to click finish i'm going to bring up the image okay let's jump into the kali linux image to download for our raspberry pi 5 I'm going to bring up the Kali.org official website. You can see if you go to the Kali.org and you will see from the first page, you will see a download button. Click download. If you don't have the link, I'm going to put on my YouTube description field for the for your uh, for easy so you can download directly. I'm going to use the dark mode. I like the dark mode. And you can see install images, virtual machines. Uh, we're going to use the install images. Okay. And also they have options called ARM, mobile and cloud, because we're going to use the, we use the Raspberry Pi image is under ARM. I'm going to click ARM. Under the ARM, you can see Raspberry Pi. There's a lot of versions. This is for Raspberry Pi. Uh, version for 32 bit and this is for uh, version 2 and 4 uh, I mean version 1 2 3 4 and 464 bit and you can see Raspberry Pi 5 64 bit so Raspberry Pi 5 is come with only 64 bit which I have the latest version it doesn't matter the size of your RAM but Kali Linux recommend at least 4 GB. If you have 8 GB, it's good. And there's a two option you can uh, directly download, or you can use the torrent download. So we're going to use the direct download. If you have torrent, you can use the torrent. So torrent. Uh, if your connection is very slow because this is a 3 GB file, so if your connection is slow, uh, you can use torrent to uh, pause and uh, resume whenever you want because sometimes your internet is going to be very slow or maybe your part you are in a different part of the world and the internet is going to be slow. I'm in the US where my connection is fast so I'm going to use the direct download button. You can see it just hit here and you can see it's downloading and take some time depending on your internet speed. For me at this day probably 20 minutes to finish this download okay we are down uh, done downloading now we're going to open the raspberry pi imager and i'm going to use the raspberry pi device i'm going to choose raspberry pi 5 
the operating system I'm going to use the custom all the way down and the download I'm going to use the one I just download 3 GB is the file I download click open and let's choose this storage 127 GB and say would you like to apply OS customized settings I'm going to say no actually this only good for the Raspberry Pi OS not for the Kali Linux so I'm going to say no uh, probably you will don't get this option because probably you don't have the settings configured and I already configured settings uh, so I'm not going to apply for the Kali Linux and after that it says all existing data on the mass storage will be erased are you all too sure I'm going to say yes this is going to take a while at least 45 minutes or probably 30 minutes 30 minutes to 45 minutes okay here's my raspberry pi file now image is done i'm going to insert that now i am going to use my keyboard and mouse i use like that put only one usb port yeah so i'm going to plug into the raspberry pi USB power yeah. okay i boot it up now in the i'm in the login screen um so setting up a new installation of Kali Linux on Raspberry Pi involves several best practice to ensure security, functionality, and performance. I'm going to give you a general guide to help you get started. First, let me log in. So normally, the first, uh, their default is username is Kali and password is Kali. We're going to change the password in a bit. So we're going to type again Kali. Okay. So this is your the first time I'm going you're going to see the, the desktop. So first of all, uh, the first step you need to do is change the password. So I'm going to open, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see going to say 15 and going to say ok expand this let's get started now first what you need to do you need to change the default password so Kali Linux come with the default username and password like Kali Kali it's a crucial to change these immediately for secret reason so use the PA P A S S W D command to change. So password. So it's ch changing password for Kali. The current password normally we put Kali. And I'm going to put the uh, new password. Okay, I ch uh, successfully changed the uh, password. Now next is update and upgrade the system. So after the first boot, connect your Raspberry Pi to the internet. So I uh, connect my Wi-Fi. You can see I connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, so once we connect to the Wi-Fi, open a terminal and run sudo apt update. Okay, next we're going to run sudo apt going to use full upgrade Let's say yes okay it's done so next create a new user it's a good idea to create a new user with regular privileges for daily tasks, uh, we're going to use sudo add user and the username. I'm going to use it samurai teacher and I'm going to type enter. Um, 
directory new password so i'm going to type a new password we type your password full name it samurai teacher room number i'm going to say 007 work phone i'm going to say one two three four five six home phone four five six one two three other one two three this information correct you have to say yes okay it's successfully at so next we're going to use to the pseudo group so what we need to do we go type to sudo we're going to the use mod let's say a g sudo this is the sudo group we're going to put it samurai teacher so uh, when we type yes it's uh, the user added to the group okay we are done with the the basic uh, settings configure uh, in my future lessons I'm going to show you what kind of stuff we need to configure I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to their start menu okay so the Kali Linux is a specialized distribution of Linux that is primarily used for penetration testing and security auditing it comes with wide array of tools built in uh, catering to various aspects of information security such as network analysis you know, forensics and vulnerability assessment so he has some key categories and notable tools included in the car in Linux the first one information gathering these tools for collecting information about systems networks and services examples nmap is a network scanning tool why shark it's a network packet analyzer. The harvest is a gather email, subdomains, host, employee names, open ports, and banners from different public resources. I'm going to cover all this part one by one in my future videos. That's me how to use the Nmap, how to use the Wireshark, how to use the Harvester. So please subscribe to my video channel so I will uh, keep uploading those videos. And next one is vulnerability analysis. These tools for identifying vulnerabilities in network systems and applications. Like example, uh, NIKTO is a web server scanner. Open VAS is a vulnerability scanner and manager. And next one is web application analysis. This tool specially uh, click there. So this tool specially designed for attacking and analyzing web applications. Example. A burp suite integrated platform for performing security testing of web applications sql m sql map is automated sql injection and database takeover tool the fourth one is the database assessment so this tool uh, to access and exploit vulnerabilities in database systems so example uh, sql map as i mentioned above and uh, you can see uh, jsql injection uh, automated SQL in injection tool and password attacks number five so these tools for testing the strength of password and recovering them example John the Ripper password cracking tool Hydra fast network logon cracker and we're going to uh, number six uh, wire wireless attacks uh, so these tools for testing the security of wireless networks example aircrack ng suite for in accessing the Wi-Fi network security uh, river tool for performing attacks against WPS number seven a reverse engineering these tools for analyzing and reverse engineering binaries and software example GDB the GNU project debugger uh, radar to a portable reversing framework number eight exploration tools tools that are used to exploit known vulnerabilities um, example metaspolit framework advanced open source platform for developing testing and using exploit code and be 
F, uh, B E E F is a browser exploitation framework. And we're going to do number nine is a sniffing and spoofing. This tool is for intercepting and modifying network traffic. Example, uh, ETER CAP, E T T E R CAP is a comprehensive suite for man in the middle attacks. Uh, I believe you guys uh, hear a lot of about this man in the middle attack stuff. And the other one is Wireshark, uh, as I mentioned above. Okay, next is uh, these are forensics tools. You can see the tools for digital and forensics and incident response. Example, auto uh, PSY. Uh, you can see it's a digital forensic platform. Foremost, uh, it's a file recovery tool. And after that, uh, we have reporting tools. So you can see tools that help in general reports for analysis presentation. Um, you know, like for the test, like examples, uh, FAR, DA, start uh, penetration test and vulnerability management platform, uh, DRA, uh, DIAs. Uh, there's another tool called uh, collaboration and reporting tool for security professionals. So, Kali Linux extension tool sets. So, this is uh, so, so social engineering tools. There's a lot of tools, even not here, we can install. Uh, so there's a lot of tools we can learn. We can do a lot of things for cybersecurity. Uh, it's not only hacking, that's mean, if you want to, if someone want to be a hacker, that's mean they want to learn the cybersecurity and prevent who try to cyber, uh, like attack. So like us, we do is uh, learning the ethical hacking, how to hack that's maybe not going to hack we want to learn how to hack so that why we can stop the hackers because we know because we we, we can get those knowledge like a think like a hacker so that's the uh, main goal we want to stop all this uh, cyber uh, attacking uh, ethical hacking or black hat uh, we can stop this stuff because we we also want to learn these tools so Carl Linux is extensive tool sets combined with its customizable and Linux foundation makes a powerful platform for security professional. However, it is important to use these tools responsibly and legally as many of them can be used for malicious purposes if misused. Remember that. Okay, that's all for this video. I'm going to create more videos about how to use these tools uh, and there's a lot of things we need to do uh, build the ethical hacking system so we as a cyber security professional we can use these all these tools to use for daily task so stay tuned uh, subscribe to my channel and we will see you on my next videos thank you